the type of conflict none of those Europeans were used to. They would find a big open field like this and line up in, a bit and, in lines and as many people as they can, and they would shoot at each other. Us natives were more hand-to-hand -hand combat, closed quarters. This particular demonstration that we're bringing out to do, you're gonna see the chaos, the confusion that one may see during this demonstration. In the Mohawk language, we call this next demonstration the Hunchikwa X. Can simply translate as to they play ball. You may refer to this game as lacrosse. Now, the Hunchikwa X, when our warriors get together to play this game, our women never played this. As I said before, our women are too important to the society, to our culture. This is a warrior's game. It's often referred to as the little brother of war because this is going to be one of the ways we are going to settle disputes without going to war with one another. And this is a game that many different native nations throughout this continent have. It may not be exactly done the same way the Haudenosaunee play, but they do have a stick ball game and quite often are utilized in the same way. So we have a few different types of, uh, of stick ball uh, sticks up here. John, if you want to hold up your stick, please. Hold that lacrosse stick up. John is holding a traditional wooden stick of the Iroquois, the Haudenosaunee people. They have changed over time to, uh, to what we more commonly see today as the fiberglass, the plastic, the, uh, the graphite rods that we're using today. However, they were used in uh, a lot of the times from the hardest hickory, the hardest black walnut, that shag bark hickory. That's what we're going to utilize for these sticks. I'm going to have Noah show you his lacrosse stick as well. It's very, very similar to what John was carrying. However, you notice as time has progressed, that front of that stick has changed just a little bit. There's a nice little scoop on there. It's a lot easier to catch and cradle and carry that ball. As our way is the exact way you see the game of lacrosse played today on the soon-to-be Olympic level, but at the collegiate level, at the world level, lacrosse today is the Haudenosaunee Nungani the Haudenosaunee way to play this game. We also have another stick my nephew Verk is gonna hold up here. It's a round stick, it's a great lake stick as well. More familiar with a Bagataway type of game. However, the Anishinaabe, as we said earlier, they also have a stick ball game as well, Bagataway. So they're gonna utilize this type of stick. Now we have some sticks over here, and the way we split this this uh, game up, today we see how it's played. Everybody gets out there, goes crazy, runs into each other. Not really, but kinda. Long ago it was young men versus old men, and today we still hold that tradition true in our communities, and you are a young man if you have no children. So it doesn't matter, if you're 55, you're living the bachelor life, you got all of those, uh, you got the Shelby GT Cobra in the garage, you got the indoor swimming pool, the hot tub, the Harley Davidson, the Indian, and you are still a young man. You will play on that young man's side. If you are a teenager, because some of it seems to happen quite often nowadays, we see our young ones having babies. Well, as soon as you have that child, you are an old man or an old woman traditionally. You are now a parent, and everything changes right away. So we have a, a, a ball out here that we're going to utilize, and it's not a traditional ball. Traditionally, we're going to use a, a burl. So any piece of knotted wood that you can whittle down into the shape of a sphere is what we would typically use. However, we don't want anybody leaving with goose eggs, knots, black eyes, fat lips. So we're going to utilize a, a squishy ball today, wrapped in leather. And I need, I'm going to need, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six... Young men and old men. How many old men we got out there? Put your sticks up. So it's looking like three old men and three young men. So I have 10 open sticks up here, gentlemen and boys. I need five old men, meaning if you have children, I need you to come up here and grab a stick. Just five of you. Young men or those bachelor guys. If you don't have any children, we have five sticks that we need you to utilize as well. Don't be shy. Don't run up here at the same time. <coughs> You're going to have plenty enough time to push and bump and cross-check. And remember, when this game was being played, there were no rules long ago. There may be more than one game going on, 
the field may be three, four to seven miles long, maybe three miles wide. You may have somebody breaking bones. You may have somebody being knocked out. But today we are here to play and have fun. So no matter how much you don't like that guy pushing you with his fanny, don't haul off and crank him. All right, we got some old guys out there. We got some young guys. There are still three sticks out here. There are still three sticks laying over here. If you want to get into this game, feel free to come on over here and pick one up. Remember, this is a man's game. This is a game that belongs this way with the wooden sticks, only for our men. So, ladies, unfortunately, we can't have you come up here grabbing our sticks. Our dancers, even, will not be handling these wooden sticks for the same reason. Now, audience, all of you spectators, this game was given to us by Sungwai Diesel. This game was given to us by the creator of all existence, of all things. It was put on this earth for his enjoyment. He likes to see this game played. But also, it's to lift the spirits of anybody who, who is feeling down and out, of anybody who's had bad luck, if anybody who just, you know, thought it was too darn cold this morning when you went to start that car, this is to lift those spirits. This is to help you smile throughout your day. This is the medicine of the game. This is the medicine of all of those games that we all get together to show our support for our favorite team. And in my instance, I'm part of that Buffalo Bills Mafia. I don't know how you guys roll out here, but that's how we roll. But as well as uh, being part of this game, spectators, there's, uh, we want to say Hanyo. Can you say that? Hanyo. Hanyo. And that's like cheering them on. You're cheering your team on. So if you're cheering for the young men, Hanyo, Hanyo. But if you're cheering against them, you say Sha, Sha. Are gonna, we're going to have one of our young ladies come out here and throw this ball up. And again, the idea is to hit the wicket. So you're going to want to score on the hay bales. Long ago, you just had two wickets that went straight up and ran entirely and never ended. Went all the way up to the heavens. So if you threw your ball past that spot, that goal, no matter if it was 30 feet in the air above everybody's heads or if you whipped it right past their ear, that still is a goal. So on the count of three, gentlemen, take a look around and see who your teammates are. That's who you're passing to. Young men, put your sticks up. Young men, hold up your sticks. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the young men. Old men, put your sticks up. Let's hear it for the old men. Hanyo, hanyo. On the count of three, we're going to have our, our master of throwing the ball in the air. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Here we go. Anska, Degany, Ase. Here we go. Hanyo, hanyo. Scoop through, scoop through. And no one comes in. He's he's cradling through. Don't forget to scoop through it. Scoop it up. You want to scoop that ball and and, uh, and cradle it and run with it. If you use your hands, long ago we would just hack you in the hands. But today, since we're being nice, if you... on the side. It was on the side, gentlemen. On the side doesn't count. It's got to hit the front of the bail. Oh, 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 he's losing his footer. Don't forget, you can run with the ball, gentlemen. You don't have to pick it up and just dish it off to the guy you don't like. Yeah, we want him, him to get hit, too. Oh, and we have an outlet pass. Outlet pass all the way down. The young man coming out, he sweeps in. And John steps in the way and plays defense for the first time in his lacrosse career. Shot! Yeah. Let's go! Push right through him. Push right through him. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to hoot and holler, ladies and gentlemen. If you got a, you know, if you're significant others out there, if you just have a friend, or if you're like, hey, the heck with those old guys, those old young guys. We want to hear you cheer. We want to hear you scream. Don't forget to keep that ball in the play. Keep the ball in the arena. Yeah. Here we go. Noah coming down. A little bit of bump, and he loses the ball again. Good two, over three, coming two, scooping it up. He takes a look. He's got an old man. He's got a few old men spread way out because they all run very far. Use your fanny. Box them out. Just like just like any other sport. Box them right out of there. Oh, the pass.
Tony sends it down. Oh, Orville Green. Or is that John Drew? He's blocking the pass off. Sorry, you guys look like twins to me today. They all look the same. They all got beach ball flag in front. They're all the same. Oh, looks like we got a little bit of strategy here. Nice little scoop from Orville. Oh, no. And I think that was a, I think that was a blocked shot. He blocked it. Come behind defense. It's here for that young man playing defense. Hanyo. Hanyo. You can also say walk-walk. walk, -walk. walk, -walk. Good job. Good job. Orville Green using all the energy he has left in those knees. Bringing it down. He's thinking behind the back. He's getting fancy. He got fancy and passed to the wrong team. Let's hear it for those old guys. Ciao. Wait a minute, that's my team. Tonyo, Wakwa. Now remember, audience, it's your job to cheer your team up. They're only gonna play better, they're gonna run faster, they're gonna jump higher if you buy the new pair of Nike Airs. Oh, he makes it. That was a good lead pass. Here we go. The veteran, Noah Green. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how he sticks and moves in those happens. They get pretty sick. Oh. I love to him they said over there. Look out. He can get a little aggressive. Now again, this this game originally, you know, think of it being three, four hundred people out there playing at a time. We're preparing our young gentlemen for the chaos that happens during warfare. As I made the show call, they all look alike to me out there. However, when you're in warfare, when you're in battle, you're stripped down to just the essentials. And it may be very difficult to tell friends from foe. So putting them in this situation where you must look and see who you're working with. It's getting them ready for that battle, for that conflict, for that chaos. But this game can go on for days, sometimes weeks, sometimes months. Can you stick the other way? There you go, the pocket. Oh, the back check. That young man is good at that back check. Let's hear it for our young man. Oh, he just misses and the shot goes wide. What's he got? Nothing. Oh, and the young man runs to the back, picks the ball up and scores. 